In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share data from Timer Pro with people who do not have the program. And the way you do that is you do it through Excel. So let's take an example here. Here we've got um, a video analysis in our video module. If you scroll to the right here, you will see there's a video file name field. And that video file name field contains the name of the file name and the complete path. If I click on one of these, let's say the load cage here, it plays back the video right here. So what we're doing is we look at the flow chart here. Right now we are in our video module right here and we're going to pass it down into here, the process analysis. And the way that we do that is we're going to go back to the data collection ribbon here. and the far right, we take the time preview. And now the information from that video analysis is in the balancing area here. Notice there's a video icon on each of the items here. Since it came from the video area, I can click here and I can play it back. It's the same little video clip that's getting played here. So what it's doing is using the starting and the ending point here. Now we can output that in many different ways. Uh, the main area for exporting is up in the summary area, the export options. And these are all the different charts we can uh, send out of here. So let's say we're going to generate some work instructions. So I click on the work instruction here. I'm just going to use my standard format here and pop it right out. I'm going to call it my demo, demo one. And I click on the OK. And it's going to dump the information from the balancing area out into Excel. And it doesn't matter which of these reports you use, whether it be the work instructions like we're looking at here, or it could be any of the other ones here, the Yamazumi chart, the value added analysis, PFMEA, work combination sheet, value stream mapping. Uh, these are all sending data out to Excel. And uh, when you're in Excel, if you can back over here and look at the Excel sheet we had here, You'll notice here, here's our stockman. Here's the video link. Now, if you look closely at this here, I'm going to edit this comment. This is the Excel comment field that we have right here. Make it bigger here. And I'll change the view so you can see exactly what we're doing here. So let's zoom in to 100% here. And you can see here, see users, public document supply, computer services, samples, tear down one MPG. In fact, if we go all the way back to the video module field that's in here, that's the exact path to the file right here. And the other numbers you see here, look at the numbers here. Uh, it starts at 29.158 to 40.544. Go back to the Excel sheet. And there you can see the 29.158 to 40.544. And this is a description of the element load cage right there. And what happens, of course, I can click here and it will play it back from the video. Now what it's doing, it's looking at this particular comments field and it's seeing if that video does exist in that location. And if it does, it will play it back for you using the starting and the ending information you see right there, the 29.158 and the 40.544. Now the problem comes if you give it to someone else, that path is not going to exist. However, the logic in the program says, check the path that's shown in the comment area. And if it doesn't find it there, it says, look for the file in the same folder that the, the Excel sheet is in. So what it means is we can move this around anywhere we want. And as long as the Excel sheet and the video content is put into the same folder, anyone who has Excel who can see that folder will be able to play it back. So right now you can see here, I have a, a study called Demo 1. This means Timer Pro TP is maintaining it and we're going revision number one. I'm just going to save that again here and close out of it. If I wanted to distribute that to someone who did not of Timer Pro. What I would do is I would go and find that uh, particular uh, Excel sheet. So here it is right here, and work instructions. And here it is right here, this Excel sheet. I'm going to copy this. And many people will have a common drive, but you can put it anywhere you want. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say I've got a shared drive over here. So here's a shared drive. I'm going to create a new folder in here. Uh, you can call it anything you want. So I'll just call it process. All right, and we can go in there and we put this in here. So there's my Excel sheet. And then what I have to do is I have to get the video. Now, if I go back to here, I can see where my video is located. So I'm going to go down here. This is actually found under the um, documents. And I go to here, I find my applied computer services. I go to my samples. And in here, I should have my um, here down one here uh, right here this is the mpg file so you can see right there 
the uh, teardown1.mpg, teardown1.mpg. So I copy this file, and I'm going to put that into my shared folder also. So I go to shared, I go to the process, and I put it in here. Now, obviously, you can have many different videos, and you can put many different uh, reports. You can put them all in one folder here. You share this folder, or you send it via CD or whatever to anyone, and whoever gets it, you just tell them, put it into a drive uh, in a folder where all the data is in the one place. In other words, Excel sheet and the uh, video file is here. So if I open this up from here, and I double-click on here again, it's going to play it back. Now, again, what will happen is when that path that you see right here, make it a bit bigger, you see it better. When that path is not there, it will look for it in the same folder as the Excel sheet. So you can see here, here's my Excel sheet and here's my video. It will always play back from this. So the trick is to put your Excel output, whatever kind of report it is from Timer Pro, and any video or videos in the same folder. And anyone who has Excel who can see that folder will be able to share it.